I'm a nurse, I'm a cleaner, I'm a security and all. It has been over six years, more than six years, just like this, as you can see. It's just like a death trap to, you know, the patient. This uh, roof, as you can see, uh, was blown off by the wind over five years ago. Gaya rakma wende ana imusi immunization. Kuma gawuri open. Jesia ana bukata. Asamu wuri de yana de tumi. Sobo de jare rei. Idem ampu de musu kaya. Senyia si Jesus. In Nigeria today, primary health care is the first point of interaction with the health system for many. It is a level where people and communities believe that their short-term essential and basic health care needs will be resolved, and rightly so. It is also the level where patients in need of more specialized services are connected with secondary care. So primary health care is meant to bring um, health care closer to the people. Of course, with their full participation in terms of awareness and understanding of what is fully accessible to them, right? It's a level where everyone, especially the vulnerable ones and the less privileged, are able to access public health um, healthcare services um, as it concerns their basic health needs, like um, regular checkups and routine treatment, or even more complicated ones, at least until they're able to access advanced and specialized um, healthcare service. So um, primary healthcare is actually a vital aspect of any country's health system because it is more proactive in nature. That is the first level of care that people can access. So things have to be in place, right? Government has to provide equipment, proper funding, invest in infrastructure, because when people cannot access what they need at this level, then they are forced to seek um, alternatives. If properly funded, primary health care has the capacity to address health issues in a continuous and more comprehensive way. To ensure quality health care at this level, and to ensure that all the 30,000 primary health care facilities across the 774 local governments in Nigeria are well equipped to execute their mandates. Both the national and subnational governments have made concerted efforts, including the implementation of the National Health Act, which began in 2014. The National Primary Health Care Development Agency, NPHCDA, has also set standards and guidelines that cut across health infrastructure, human resources, and service provision to improve the quality and access to PHC service in Nigeria. However, Despite these efforts, Nigeria's primary health care system continues to quiver due to inadequate funding and infrastructure, lack of personnel, and poor governance and coordination, among others. This is Idon, and this is the primary health care in Idon. It has been over six years, more than six years, just like this, as you can see. It's just like a death trap to, you know, the patient. They usually patronize it on the market day, which is Wednesday you'll find out like we'll be having not less than 20 to 30 patients but due to the condition of this very place they don't usually stay as in as it is this very morning the staffs you know working here are not here the place is locked simply because of the you know the pre present condition of this very place even if they must stay here they don't stay under this very roof they have to find somewhere and you know position themselves as we speak nigeria still remains the second largest contributor to maternal and child mortality globally losing at least 2300 children and 145 women every day in october 2021 traka the Community Engagement and Service Delivery Promotion Arm of Budget embarked on a visit to primary health care centers in three states, Niger, Kaduna, and Kano, to examine their operations and compliance with the minimum standards set by the NPHCDA. Of the 25 primary health care centers we assessed, 14 had no access to water or hand pump boreholes, 16 had no electricity, 12 owed salaries, and 24 did not have an ambulance. This is not good enough. 
MDG clinic yanguru I'm a nurse I'm a cleaner I'm a security and all all the, the duties from Monday to Friday even Saturday Sunday I normally came here due to because of the national budget I'm always alone here I only have only two beds that I'm managing and I can I may have three to four percent eh? I'm, I'm normally use beds at a time to admit a patient let government look at look at this situation in this very particular community since the clinic is working for 24 hours at least more bed more drip stand and other things to a mad and a zone of kuma saying that that's some differences the problem is she may i look at him as an high one now ten now some of whom is that okay i'm fine the she may know come and say i'm put and see you so she may have been done uh do and do that and she was not come on look at it in a neighbor i'm going to jen to come on the goodbye sergeant in your mutu that's gonna show a lot of she doesn't know it yet or current so and no system what a team of our area must live back up to a mark my guy issue with aga so no guy come on kill the problem let's see a mate haka come on you're going by any level are you by any okay must have a salute that keep us can't turn up on good and so the ratio muta as a good thing so now she can say as a good thing you know to kill location mother kill so I can walk on bowler to keep us can't turn as a good thing what that is over one and I'm by a when I'm bowler and I'm going to take and down with me turn this kill when she are one long as a good thing as you also say what it is kid yeah that's key I'm gonna work out of as a button now I'll call us who say more cause you when is even that guns which is Bob Uta yeah I'll cause you like a guy into car test you come to your turn side here hey the guy to look at you have beer you got a test bar so no more guys here about a guy so we're gonna come on a boy they don't cause you like a leak it up so now we're gonna have a current in the gas here I put on to look at what you might see as bitten now so no more guys here about who hell it doesn't mean that some zero I could answer now am I going to say up to one go and call us you are Bob who are as we tell them guys here one hospital here we don't have light we don't have toilet we don't have a let's say a bathroom and the other facilities we even get a let's say a problem of not being let's say a good hospital here we don't have enough tablet we don't have enough medicine so we need help from to have an optimum level of comfort and care, it is imperative that a health facility provides a conducive environment to aid treatment. When the government cannot provide a conducive environment for citizens to receive health care, achieving health equity becomes difficult. Thus, subnational governments must ensure that primary health centers are fully equipped with electricity, water, ambulances, and other necessary provisions to function optimally. So the idea of primary health care is that it is accessible and it is subsidized and it has everything that people need for their first level um, contact with the healthcare system, right? And if things are not in place, people are forced to seek alternatives outside. And most times, more often than not, these alternatives do not end well for people. And why is that? As of now, um, about 70% of Nigerians do not have health insurance. So that means they actually, that percentage of population actually pay out of pockets. So imagine a situation whereby they cannot access basic health care needs at the primary health care you know, level. They are forced to go outside and then seek private um, consultations and private health care services, which they might not be able to afford or pay for. So the government needs to pay attention to this aspect of the health system so that people can access health care when they need it. Domingas care. Hasi biting, wani loko chini idang ana ruan sama, sisi kugangua yana soko ma patients atiking hasi biting. Wote nde masuna aiki atiking hasi biting, wani loko chini idang ana kang doka information na mtu sisi kugangua yana soko yana zuba wa atiking. Gaya rakuma wewe nde ana imusi immunization, kuma gawuri open, geskia ana bokata, asamu wuri nde yana dedumi, soko de jarere. Idan an bude musu kaya sun yi ya shige su za su iya za su iya kamu da pneumonia domin me domin wuri yayi sanyi kuma wuri open ne ah this roof as you can see uh, was blown off by the wind over 5 years ago but up to now nothing has been done about it 
and uh, we never relent in crying out to the local government and state government, yet no step has been taken to improve on the situation. We want government to come to our end to help us. Things are not, not that good in this hospital. We are looking at the environment, it's not enough, there's nothing, even roof and all the rest. And look at the the main room we are in. There's no net, uh, no mosquito net. Even the floor, all are all that is not all that good. Muna bukata akara muna padeng asubitin na sabi ya ba da kuna. Aki budayuni aki deshi ba indaga alak akarbang haywa. In a bid to improve service delivery and ensure citizens benefit from government intervention, TRACA held periodic sensitization engagements with communities in 32 states across the country, wrote letters to government stakeholders citing the FOI Act to provide information and updates on PHC projects domiciled under their authority. TRACA also leveraged traditional and social media to provide citizens with the information they need to demand improved primary health care in their localities. I'm proud to now of track over, over 32 primary health care centers in Kaduna State within the, um, the space of uh, two years to three years. Um, the, state at, the state at which the primary health care centers have been is it's nothing to write home about. Today we are live and direct at um, he done primary health care center at the local government. As you can as well see behind me, where the, the, the state of the primary health care it's, it's dilapidated. I think prior to now, over two years ago, we agitated regards to this um, dilapidated state of this um, health care center. But till date, nothing has been done. We've written letters, we've followed up, we've even used our Twitter handle to advocate in regards to this um, dilapidated um, primary health care center. But till date, nothing has been done in regards to that. We have written letters to the appropriate authorities about the address state of these health facilities. Um, and we are also calling on both federal and state governments and the Commissioner for Health so that they can take action to make sure that these health centers are renovated and they should also provide equipment so that they can function well for the residents. And they should also take into consideration the remuneration of uh, health workers so that their salaries will be paid at 20.